When you picture an ecosystem, you normally picture something like a pond with some smaller fish, some frogs, bigger fish, insects, birds, and maybe some mammals. But have you ever thought about your body as an ecosystem? Well, it is for bacteria. You have 10 times more bacteria that are part of your body than cells that make up you. But how is that even possible? Well, bacteria cells are prokaryotic cells that are very small and simple. But in the end, with all those bacteria, they only make up about 1-3% to of your body weight. Which, when you think about it, it's still a pretty darn big chunk. And the cells that make up your body itself are eukaryotic cells that are much more advanced and typically much, much more huge mungo. Everybody's different based on your age, ethnicity, diet, and many other traits, but your body has approximately 750 different species of bacteria and around 200 genera and 20 phyla. One commonly mistaken fact about bacteria is that they're all really similar, but some of these bacteria are as different from each other as a snail is to a giraffe or a grasshopper is to a sponge. Even with all these different species of bacteria weighing upwards of a kilogram of your body weight, there are many places in your body that are completely clear of all of them. Your brain, your heart, your lungs, your blood, and almost all of your internal organs are always fighting off any invading bacteria. Most bacteria live inside your gut and your large intestine and colon, with many others living in the upper respiratory tract, which includes your mouth, throat, and nose, and then there's also some on your skin. Let's just hope you don't start getting that feeling of having millions of tiny little thing crawling all over you. <laughs> These bacteria aren't all evil though, most of them actually work with your body in a mutualistic relationship. They can produce vitamins, train your immune system, and most importantly inhibit the growth of other more harmful species of bacteria. This is why it's so important to keep these healthy bacteria safe and happy, otherwise other pathogenic or disease-causing bacteria can actually start to take over. One of the most important ways to keep them happy is by limiting the amount of antibiotics you take, because when you take it, you don't just kill the bad bacteria, you start to kill them all. And if you do take antibiotics, make sure you try and repopulate with yogurt or probiotics. You normally think about bacteria as evil little germs that cause diseases, but now you know that you work with these bacteria to help keep your entire body healthy and full of life. Hey there guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let us know how you think we're doing in the comments down there. And if you want to watch a little bit more of our stuff, feel free to check out the Animators channel right down there, or check out some more cool science videos right there. And as always, have a super duper delicious day.